Today I have amazing, 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 amazing person. Uh, she's more than a mom to me, more than a friend. We talk about it, sana, mbali sana, sana, sana. And today, and today, and today, and today, I have learned a lot from her. And I'm going to mingi. She is my prayer warrior. Kwa hivyo tukiona ni nasimama, ni kona nguvu, kona watu wana niombeaga, and she's one of them. Wacha ni seme leo, maybe sita ipata siku ya kusema siku ingine. She's more than a friend, she's more than a mom, yani she's everything. Yeah, she's everything. Mwombezi wana niombea sana. She support me 100%. Na ukiona nimesimama mbaka hapa hivi tumetoka mbari. Yana na jetu mari tumetoka. Na safari imekuwa lefu, lefu sana. But I thank God today she is in the house. Kama vile nirekwambia, siyo mtu mwepesi. Eh? She is a lecturer. She is a musician. She is a counselor. She is a director of Liz Refuge TV. Na akondani ya nyumba. Eh? Akondani ya nyumba, akondani ya nyumba. So... Karibu sana, Liz. Asante. Yeah, thank you, thank you for coming mm. to the show. Yeah. Yeah, na nashukuru sana. Mm. Nashukuru sana. So, ndaka uangaria hii kamera. <laughs> yeah. kamera ndia yako. Asalimia, yeah. mm. asalimia watazomaji wetu. Mm -hmm. Alafu tuendele. Na wasalimu, watazomaji, wanisi, TV. Na hasa hasa, watu wenye wana support my generation, my assignment. Na vile mmesikia jina langu ni Liz Kagwanja. Ah uh, mwanamke ambaye anampenda Yesu sana. I love the Lord with all my heart. And I do desire to serve God with all that I am and all that I have. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Uh, so, <laughs> nishia sema titles zako. Mm -hmm. So, sana, ndaka tuwanze safari. Alright. Uh, uh, Liz Kagwanja alizaliwa wapi? <laughs> <laughs> Liz Kagwanja uh, alizaliwa Muranga. Mm. Uh, ya. Yeah. Alizaliwa Muranga. Yes. Okay. Alafu, yeah. Liz Kagwanja kasomea wapi? Liz Kagwanja kasomea Muranga. Mm. Uh, shure inaitua Kigumo Bedena. Mm. Akasoma mpaka form 4. Okay. Akatoka form 4. Mm. Akaenda bunyore. Mm. Bunyore girls. Mm. Nikafanya form 5 and 6. Mm. Bunyore girls. Mm. Nikatoka uko. Nikaenda nikafanya diploma in education. Uh -huh. Bado in western. Uh -huh. uh, iyo inaitua Maseno. Uh -huh. Maseno oh, University. Maseno current Maseno. Uh -huh. And then nikatoka hapo nikaenda Egerton mm. University nikafanya bachelor of education. Mm. Nikatoka hapo nikaenda Chuka yeah. University uh -huh. nikafanya masters. Okay. Yeah. Wow. So uh, nikurudishe ukiwa mdogo kidogo yeah. kwa sababu watu wengi wakisikiza hizo title <laughs> they can see that you are breast ready. <laughs> Uh, wewe ni mtu ambao umebarikiwa sana yeah. na umekuwa safari. Yeah. Sasa kuna mtu alikuwa akitaka kuna watu alikuwa akitaka kujua je? Yeah. Ukiwa kasichana kadogo, mm. ulikuwa kasichana kaina gani? <laughs> Nilikuwa kasichana kamechangamka sana. Yeah. Eh, kasichana kalikuwa maridadi. Yeah. Kalitaka sana kuwa smart. Wow. Dressing. Uh -huh. Was my hobby nikiwa mdogo. Yeah. Na nilikuwa Tokatif, hmm. according to what I hear, unajua sasa hiyo naambiwa na wazazi. Yeah. Na watu wenye walinijua. Hmm. Nilikuwa musichana alipenda kuwa na furaha. Mm -hmm. Amechangamuka sana. Hmm. So, hiyo ni stories zenye ninaambiwa bile nilikuwa. Yeah. Yes. Wow. Yeah. E, nini ya mbao ulikuwa napenda kia mdogo sana? <laughs> kia aje chakura ama. Hiyo <laughs> uh, one thing ambao, hmm? maybe ilikuwa ni mchezo, mm -hmm. maybe ilikuwa ni ulikuwa napenda labda kuongea. Mm -hmm. Sabda ulikuwa na wagopa sana kufanya makosa. Nini nye ulikuwa na wagopa sana ukia mdogo? Wagopa? Hmm. Ukia mdogo. Eh, mi niliogopa kuchapwa. <laughs> <laughs> niliogopa kuchapwa. Eh. Na kubuka tu once. My hmm. dad alikuwa anataka kunichapa. Yani tulikuwa tunachapwa sisi zote. Hmm. Kwa sababu kwetu tulikuwa by six hmm. tukue kwa nyumba. Hmm. So hiyo siku dad alikuja akakuta tumesha enda kutembea. Yeah. So tukaambiwa mm. kila mtu wapitie hapo mm. anachapwa. Mm. Wale wengine walipitia walichapwa. Mm. Do you know what I did? Nilipitia katikati ya miguu ya dad, mm. nikakimbia nikajificha under mm. the bed. Mm. So that was it. Okay. I feared. 
kuchapwa sana. Uh, kuchapwa sana. Uh, Uri ungopa sana kupigwa. Sana. Sasa safari yako ikakuwa hivyo mm -hmm. na masomo hiyo yeah. uh, uka, uka, uka nini ukamaliza masomo mm -hmm. na kuna watu wengi hawajui azin Liz Kagwanja. Mm -hmm. So uh, Liz Kagwanja ni ni mtu wa aina gani? Yaani wewe mwenyewe mm -hmm. ni mtu wa aina gani? Apart from hizo titles zote, she's a lecturer, she's mm -hmm. a musician nini? Mm -hmm. Nini yenye unapenda sana ndani yako? Ni kama tu nilisema ya kwamba I'm a god fearing lady. Napenda Mungu sana. Hiyo ni kitu na napenda sana. Mm. Na that is what I am is like being a Christian. Mm. It's like my character. Mm. All right? Mm. And then I also like I love people. Mm. Yeah, I like associating with the people, mm. friendships, mm -hmm. relationships. Mm. That's me. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So ukakuwa ukakuwa uko hivyo, mm. uko uko nini ukasoma. Mm. Alafu sasa tuambie ukaingia ndoa. Sasa yeah. safari ya ndoa sasa. Safari ya ndoa? Yeah. Safari ya ndoa uh, haikuwa rahisi sana. Mm. Juu siku hizo watu hawakujua mambo ya intermarriages. Okay. So mimi si nimesema nimetoka Muranga. Mm. My husband comes from Kirenyaga. Okay. And you know we don't speak the same. Mm. So ni kama sasa watu wa kwetu mm hawakutaka sana kwa hiyo mambo akina shosho akina u eh atusikii vizuri anasema nini these things eh lakini tulipambana and at the end of the day love won and then i was young when i got married so they also didn't like the idea of nimemaliza shule naenda kuolewa hawakupenda kwa hivyo hiyo tena ilikuwa shida. Okay. I married at 21 years. Wow, na siku ya nimemaliza hii mambo yote yenye nimesema hii mambo nimefanya nikiwa married. 20, 21 years. Yeah. So yo after two memaliza high school. Yeah, nilikuwa nimekaa tu one or two years. Eh. So ni hivyo. So Haikuwa rahisi. Ukienda university tulikuwa kwa ndoa. Hiyo mambo yote nimesema nimefanya ni <laughs> except is as up to form 6. Uh, eh. Yeah. Okay. Mm. So uh, maisha ya marriage imekwaje kwako? Kwa wale watu ambao wanaogopa kuingia kwa ndoa. Imekuwa poa. Maisha ya marriage imekuwa poa. Mm. Siwezi kusema anything that is bad with the marriage. Mm. So long as you speak mm. your mind. Mm. Like now even when I got married that time, mm. I made it clear to my husband mm. that I would want to go as far as I can. Yeah. So, na nikaongea even before my father mm. and the man who was going to marry me. Mm. So, getting in the house is not the end. So long as you speak your mind, mm. so long as you love each other, hakuna kitu kinaweza haribika. Okay. Yeah, so, and, and so long as you also know forgiveness yeah. because iko mambo mingi inafanyika. Mm. Like now, you see when I was very young now, and I've gotten into marriage, mm. and then there are children. Here is the husband. Mm. I haven't known him so, so much. Mm. So there are many things that happen. Yeah. But so long as you know how to speak your mind, say, mm. I don't like this. Mm. And then if there is anything mm. that comes up, mm. you forgive each other, yeah. and then you move on. Okay. Marriage is not bad. So you can say that. Hata after sasa kuingia kwa ndoa, bado hata yeye, Oh, mm. obviously alikuwa labda alikuwa bado mdogo na bado alikuwa anasoma. Yeye yeah, alikuwa ashafanya degree yake mm. ya kwanza. Mm -hmm. Kwa hivyo hata yeye amefanya ya pili mm. na ya tatu okay. tukiwa pamoja. pamoja. Na unaona hapo ni very challenging mm. because they are also mm. children yeah. to be taken care of. Mm. So if if you are not if you are not very strong mm you can give up on the way. Okay. Mm. So kwa hivyo kuna wale watu ambao unapataga kuna watu wengi ambao wanaolewa mm -hmm. alafu wanaingia kwa ndoa. Mm -hmm. Unapata mtu kisha kishaingia kwa kishaingia kwa ndoa mm -hmm. anakuwa bibi wa nyumbani. Sasa mm -hmm. kazi tu ni kuzaa watoto yeah. na kulea dreams zake zenye alikuwa nazo mm -hmm. zote zinaisha. Mm -hmm. So you can say muli team up na na mzee yeah. na mukasema sasa this what we'll do. Mm -hmm. Na hata kwa kwa ndoa mkaendelea mm -hmm. tu na maisha mkakuwa like best friend na mkaendelea kwa achieve dreams zenyu. Ukasoma, yeah, ukamaliza yeah. Fanya degree, yeah, zoto. because now when I got married, mm. him, he was doing his masters. Okay. All right. Mm. So to the endelea ivo, mm. 
mimi nikataka niingie nifanye mambo yangu hmm. so ndio hapo nikaingia nikafanya the first one okay. all right hmm. nikiwa bado na mtoto mdogo hmm. from there tukaona ni very challenging kusoma na wewe ni bibi na kila hmm. kitu so tukasema hmm. wacha ni muachilia asome hmm. amalize yake yeye yeah, akaenda akafanya mpaka phd uh -huh. after that si bado mimi ninalea watoto uh -huh. Then after that, I started my. <laughs> now when I started, now na ata watoto wangu ako shule na mimi ni kushule, but they are big now. See ati wa na nihitaji sana. So it's like we are competing with them abo. Ana sa mama, ni 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 ni. And then that's it. Na maisha imekuwa hivyo. Maisha imekuwa hivyo si zote tu mekuwa busy watoto muzi ni ni. Kila mtu kivyake lakini we. We converge. Okay. Kila mtu. Unajua, oh. <coughs> iko kitu tunasema, in counseling, oh. the best marriage oh. is where you are happy oh. when you are together and you are also able to be happy oh. when you are alone. Oh. Marriage is not a prison. Oh. That now, vile ume get married, now, hakuna kitu utafanya chako, chako kufrahisha. Oh. I believe in that. Yeah. And I think I've sold that to mm. the rest members of the family. Okay. So when they are alone huko, mm. kila mtu anafanya bidi, mm. kiviyake, mm. na anafanya mambo abayo inamfurahisha. Mm. Nami the same, mm. nikiwa wherever I am. Mm. But then when we converge, mm. we are also happy yeah. together. Wow. That is marriage. So size, wow. So <laughs> size me, melea watoto, wamekua. Yeah. Sasa kila mtu akona kwake. Yes. Sasa ume sasa umebaki. Nimebaki. Aya sasa ume sasa takomaliza hizo. Nimebaki na wakina DJ. Sasa after umemaliza sasa after umemaliza education yeah. watoto wamesoma mm. ndio huyu wewe tena poop kwa music. Kwa music. <laughs> Aya tuambie tuambie hapo safari. Ulifikiriaje nini ili kumotivate kuingia kwa muziki? Kwa music. Mm. Kwa music si kufikiria. Mm siku kikiria hiyo mm. music i can say is a call mm. where i had the voice of god wow. mm. watu wanasema mungu does, uh, does not speak these yeah. days mm. lakini mungu anaongea mm. because mimi siku fikiria mambo ya music what mm. happened mm. i was just going on with my career mm. teaching career mm. and then one time i got sick mm. for six months mm. nilikuwa kwa nyumba wow. nilikuwa very sick mm. then that is the time because your sickness ilikuwa na uchungu sana that is the time i was praying to die mm. and i looked myself at the mirror na nikasema sasa mungu ukinikubalia mm. nimekusafu i would like you unipumzishe tu nisipitie mm. mm. so that is when i was praying that prayer mm. nilikuwa naamuka saa tisa ya usiku na uchungu hiyo ni uchungu inaniamsha mm. and that is the time when i used to pray to mm. die so it happened mm. i woke up one day the same time nikaamshwa na uchungu mm. but i heard the voice of god wow. saying you are not going to die mm. i'll heal you i'll put a message in you and i'll put a new song in you wow. so hiyo ilifanyika siku tatu mm. ninaamka the same time saa tisa ya usiku mm. mm. Ninasikia that voice. Mm. So siku ya, pi, ra, ya kwanza nikasikia. Siku ya, ya pili mm. nikasikia. Siku ya tatu ndio nili stukia nikasema what is this? This must be the voice of God. So nikasema mm. if it is you God mm. speaking to me, mm. if you put that message in me, I'll take it to the end of the world. Mm. And if you put a song mm. in me, mm. I'll sing it at the top of the mountains wow. for everybody to hear. Mm. So that is what happened. Mm. From that time nikikubali mm. nilianza kupona. Mm. And within two weeks after that mm. nilikuwa nimepona. Mm. So when I got healed nikaenda kanisa. Mm. Nikaimba wimbo kanisani. Of course I was not very strong nilikuwa supported mm. by my husband and mm. my girl. Nikaimba wimbo mm. And I thought that was the song now, all right, mm. that God had put in me. Then uh, when I went home, mm. then music started coming. The same, same time again I used to wake up because of pain, mm. I used to wake up now with a song. And a song, 
Na imba hiyo wimbo, the tune is there, mm. the stanzas are, are there. So when I started singing those songs now to the person we were with in the house, mm. kaniambia na unaweza iba. Mm. So there were about six songs. Mm. Nikaandika, nikaweka kwa saduku. Because mm. now me, I, I didn't know anything about music. Mm. So nikaweka tu. And then the, the, nikaenda holiday. Mm. That was 2016, okay. December. Mm. When we came back in January, mm. a message was spoken in church. Wow. Ati kuna, sasa muhubiri alikuwa na hubiri, kuna talanta nyingi sana, sitaenda kaburini. Mm. Because watu wakona talanta hawatumi. Mm. Sasa alikuwa naongea tu na anasema, sana sana kuna watu wamebalikiwa na e, vipawa za nyimbo. Na wameandika hizo nyimbo, wameweka kwa saduku, they are not, you see. Then I thought this preacher, what's wrong with this preacher? Hakuna mutu wa memuambia ni meweka hizo vitu kwa saduku. Mm. Na na niangalia, mm. ana kotema mudu. Mm. <laughs> Sasa mimi, mm. nikasema, uh, after that, mm. nikasema hiyo message ilikuwa yangu. Mm. So dio nika, nika answer. Sasa what do I do? I prayed. Mm. And nika, I mean, uh, the idea of recording now came. Mm. Yeah. Wow. Sasa nikaanza mambo ya kutafuta and who records, who, mm. who does what. I even didn't know what is the, the producer, what is who, DJ. Mimi mm. siku jua hizo mambo. <laughs> <laughs> so now that is when I began the journey. Uh -huh. Ya yeah, kutafuta hao so watu. So ukafanya, ukafanya first album, amba likuwa inaitua? Nika, nikafanya first album, uh -huh. amba ilikuwa inaitua nini? Suni kubusha. <laughs> Suni kubusha. <laughs> eh? Likuwa inaitua nini? Aya, tuendele na masuwa nini. Hapa na gotirama. Gotirama kani ya shuali. Gotirama kani ya iko katika mwana wa peke. Mwana wa peke ya nyeni album ya tatu sasa. So album ya kwanza ili tuwaje? Na wakati sasa ulipi. Na unarudia yu na niko blank. Nimeza au. Nimeza au. Nikuwa na nyimba ngapi ndai? Na album ya piri. Yu na kubuka ilikuwa inaitua modo muetigeli. Yu ni ya piri. Sasa ya kwanza hata, ugezoma unawisi. Ilikuwa na njimbo ngapi? Sita. Sita. Ya pili ilikuwa na njimbo sita. Hata ya pili, sita. Na hiyo ya tatu sasa tano. Kwa hiyo album ya pili ni njimbo gani ya mbao kiemba hivi. Masikina kuguza kabisa. Ya tu mwodo mwetige ligai. Mwodo mwetige ligai. Ebu wangani kamera utuimbia kwa rasa. Mundo mwe tige ligai ni aroga magie hoya Kaoe na kanitha wake kanitho karuga ma Hinya wake umaga ko umaga dha kameine Iyo ya jeso ya itiro dha kameine ディオチャゴ。ディオチャゴ。ディオチャゴ。ディオチャゴ。ディオチャゴ。ディオチャゴ。ディオチャゴ。ディオチャゴ。ディオチャゴ。ディオチャゴ。ディオチャゴ。
tuna kidogo kidogo ndio hiyo mm-hmm. please refuge the director of mm-hmm. please refuge mm-hmm. nini hii ambayo inafanyanga inakuamshanga una feel kufanya all these things hii mambo yote hmm. i can say i do them to the glory and honor hmm. of god's hmm. holy name hmm. because hmm. kama sasa hii hii tv this refuge tv which, which is an online hmm. tv hmm ilikuja wakati wa corona wakati sasa unajua tulikuwa tunafanya kazi pamoja eh? kure hero na tukaenda idhaga tukafanya kazi pamoja si tumetembea alafu sasa ndio hiyo corona imeingia hizo <laughs> maplace zote kumefungwa sasa sasa wewe uko kivia kwa mimi niko kivia ngu <laughs> Na hiyo sasa ndio nilifikiria mm. eh, ya kwamba I'm not uh, doing a good thing mm. kukaa kwa nyumba mm. nikaona people are suffering mm. in one way or the other mm. and people needed help they needed somebody who can speak to them and tell them mm. don't worry there is god in heaven mm. so i found myself in the house so i said no mm. let me begin something mm. Uh, where i can be sitting mm. and be speaking to people so that is when you also came around mm. and you told me you also had the same idea yeah, yeah. you also felt the same yeah, wherever yeah. you are mm. so si dio tukasema si twende huko sasa we see what we can do mm. so and you are the one who encouraged me yeah. <laughs> because you told me uh, Now you mm. because you are stable financially mm. you can just go buy everything mm. you want mm. put there mimi mm. nitakuwa nikija mm. tu kuku support <laughs> na ninacheza muziki huko na wewe unasema neno okay, ile unataka kusema uh. unafanya counseling uh. so you are the one uh. who actually encouraged me okay i had the idea uh. but when you came on board uh. me i thought i would be doing it in the house uh. <laughs> aita mtu si hata nilikuwa nimekwambia uniitie yule mtu wetu wa kamera <laughs> akuye akinichukua tu nikiwa kwa nyumba then um, you say it is good you prepare a nice place uh, where you can be sitting uh, kitu inaweza itika jina la uh, studio uh, so i went ahead uh, na ninakumbuka even when i was looking for some of the things kama cafe you remember that issue ya cafe Do you remember? Yeah, I remember. The day of the carpet. Yeah. <laughs> When we had bought a carpet ya nyumba yeah. <laughs> and then you said ah, ah this is not the carpet <laughs> for, for for studio. So yeah. uh, anyway that yeah. is how it came Ika, about. Ikazaliwa. Ikazaliwa. Yeah. Mambo yote nikaput in mm. place mm. na nikakaa hapo. Mm. Now when I started doing it mm. I also found some psychologists okay. other counselors mm. who actually wanted to be coming mm. and do the same okay. in that studio now it is a studio yeah, a nice studio yeah. so now I, they started coming mm. they started requesting me i also had uh, preachers who said they also want to come and preach mm. in that place kuenda mm. enda nikaona hata musicians they have started coming So see it became a studio yeah. and, and and that is where now we glorify God. Yeah, yeah. yeah and uh, I want to say here that anybody yeah. who has a talent yeah. psychologist, yeah. counselor, preacher, motivational speaker, whoever has that talent you can come we also promote talent yeah. just the way they are promoted yeah. here. Yeah, <laughs> so Uh, that's it mm. that is how it was and what was your what was your was your greatest challenge in your career the uh, greatest challenge in your career which career now you so see so i have so many things so that so i do so so yo ya so so yo ya nini yo ya wakati sasa ukiwa mdogo ulikuwa kwa una that was your dream as in to be the lecturer the, oh the mm. the, the, the lecturing mm. business mdogo ulikuwa unataka kuwa nini nikiwa mdogo mm. i wanted to be a lawyer I wanted to be a lawyer. Now, what happened? Mm. But I had a lawyer and a teacher. But my mother mm. wanted me to be a teacher. Alikuwa anasema hii ndio kariya mzuri ya mtoto wa msichana. Hii a lawyer hakuijua. But mimi nilikuwa nataka kuwa a lawyer, mm. but sasa nilikuwa hapo in between. Mm. I also I could also you know you have plan A mm. na plan B. So plan A, mm. lawyer, plan B, teacher. Mm. So 
that is how it happened. And then I had, now when I got married, now my husband, my father, they teamed up, my mother, oh. and they were all for the teacher. Yeah. So there was no way I was going to do any other thing. <laughs> so I ended up here, but I didn't want to say that I was going to law. In the process of my learning, mm. because everything you do, you mm. find that you are doing law. Mm. All right? And then, mambo ya, ya counseling, mm. it was a passion. Because I saw people suffering. And vile nimesema mimi ni mutu wa watu, I wanted so much to help people, yeah. but I found myself crying a lot. Mm -hmm. Because I found myself not able mm. to help people. Mm. So, when, it, when people lose their loved ones, I go there and all I can do is to cry. Mm. I have no words to say. So, your passion, mm. it's the one that led me to do psychology. Nikafanya okay. na UNISA, mm. University of South Africa, mm -hmm. your private resasa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Na nikafanya locally na Kenya Institute of Professional Counseling. Mm. And of course, we were being taught counseling when we were doing B. Ed. Mm. All that now I combined, and I said, now I can be able to help people. Okay. And for, for I was able to even attend the values and not cry. Mm. I, now I had words to comfort the people, mm. and I felt great. Wow. Like the first counseling I did, mm. I did where. Uh, I attended a barrio where they had lost three members. Mm. Within a duration of three weeks, mm. they have lost a grandfather, a son of that home, and a child. So when I went there, the Turienda Nawalimu, Wengine, Wenzangu. So there was this teacher who went and met uh, one of the old men there mm. and said, and she said boldly that all things work together for good for those who love God. Okay. Akasema, what good is there taking that child, that boy? You know, you don't just go and uh, be pretend that you are so spiritual there and start, uh, you know, there is a way. <laughs> you would rather even keep quiet <laughs> and listen to these people what they have to say <laughs> about what has happened to them. <laughs> So that spoiled everything. <laughs> People now, the old man was crying, everybody else started falling there. <laughs> and I remember there was even one who fainted. What? And that is the one I went to deal with oh. at that particular time. Oh. So I thank God oh. for everything. He does everything for oh. a purpose. Oh. Yeah. So, Nkiangalia Maishako, all mm. these things, uh, ambazo mambo ambazo umefanya, mm -hmm. the things ambazo umeachieve, mm -hmm. kwa industry ya music, mm -hmm. umesaidia watu wengi, mm -hmm. kwa counseling, yeah. ndeyo pia kwa, uko kwa, sh kwa university, na joe you have a lot of sons and daughters ambazo mm -hmm. pia wame umesoma. Mm -hmm. So, now when you pray to God, mm -hmm. una muambia nini? <laughs> uh, uh, nina muambia? Uh, me, normally I pray for people, by the way. Mm. When I wake up at five, mm. because that is when I wake up mm. to pray. By the time nini watu mweamuka, nimesha waombea, and I mention the people by name. Yeah. So, if I know you, you are safe. <laughs> 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 because nikiamuka saa hizo, yeah. wata wenye ninakumbuka saa hizo. Mm. Nina wa mention no, no. by name, by name, by name. Mm. Kama sasa ikiwa ni watu ninajua. Wewe si ninajua maitaji. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nina kuwambea mm. na maitaji yako. When I don't know, mm. I normally tell God that God, I may not know what they are going through. Mm. But whatever it is that they are going through, I'm sending you there. Mm. Because I know with God, mm. all things are possible. Wow. So that is a, a prayer I pray. Mm that uh, na mtuma mungu mm. kwa wale, hata wale sijui na, wa, na mtuma uko because I know, you know what I tell God mm. someone is crying someone is calling you mm. Lord, just go there wow. and attend to that person wow. that's what I so tell your, God your heart is in people <laughs> yeah, sana, 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 yeah. sana, sana my heart, in fact nakumbuka my husband ya kiniambia mm. wewe hii mambo yako ya watu hii watu bi <laughs> because you don't think about yourself. <laughs> like now you have so many issues. Uh, like, okay, when I have health issues, mm. 
you have so many issues and instead of thinking about yourself and how you are going to to be helped mm. now you are thinking who is that that now you are talking about mm. ni kijana mwingine mwenye ni rafiki yangu mm. na ninajua anapitia sana mm. and so i don't know how we can help so he also comes in because if he does not come in anaona ninaenda chini i'm going down alone he comes in at who is that you say that he touches si you in the same ni so ni so ni 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 so tunamuombea tunaomba and then we see what we can do wow mm ah uh, jama sam tunaweza swali na kuuliza labda swali ya mwisho eh because unaona safari yako imekuwa mrefu na you do a lot of things pamoja yeah eh, ni kwa hivi vitu zote ambazo umefanya mm. na the way roho yako imekuwa kwa watu mm-hmm. umekuwa ukisaidia watu mm-hmm. ni legacy gani hiyo ambayo unaweza taka kuacha yani as in watu wa kukumbuka unaweza tena watu wa kukumbuka kwa nini kwa upendo <laughs> mimi ningetaka watu wanikumbuke mm. kwa ile upendo mimi napenda watu nayo wanikumbuke tu na hiyo because it is there is a song that says love lifts okay mm. Mm. you can do all other things but if you don't love people mm. then it's all nothing so that yeah. is what the bible says yeah, exactly. so me i begin with love mm. napenda watu mm. then from there tunaona vile tunaweza saidiana do you see that mm. because at the end of the day i know people may not remember what i did for them what i did mm. or what i gave do you see that mm. but they will remember the time we spent together wow. and the love i showed them wow. that is my legacy amen <laughs> who lost a wife mm-hmm. na mtalipoteza bibi yake mm-hmm. na akakaa miaka mingi sana mm-hmm. kitu kimsumbua mm-hmm. na he used to remember mm-hmm. kila wakati ana, akienda kwa hoteli mari walikuwa mm-hmm. nafanya mm-hmm. vitu walikuwa kiongea exactly. na mari walikuwa kitembea exactly. na akienda kwa kaburi akaeka maua akasema je mm-hmm. yes ya yeah, yes i'll miss you mm-hmm. na i'll never see you again mm-hmm. but the only dream mm-hmm. that will remain to be true mm-hmm. is the time we have spe- we, we spend it together exactly. and the things we did together exactly. the things we talk exactly. and the life we touched together exactly i think you have put it mm-hmm. better what i wanted to say is what you are saying yeah. you know you can't spend time mm-hmm. with the people mm-hmm. if you don't love them we are sure true or false yeah, sure. and whether you have something to give or not mm-hmm. That time that you spend together mm. is the time people remember yeah. because when we are together we talked this we said this we did this together together so that's it amen mm. so Liz, mm. uh, uh, thank you for coming to the show nimefurahia mm-hmm. sana mm-hmm. because uh, i know hii interview ndio siko na mbio nayo nafanyaga haraka haraka zinakuwa 15 minutes <laughs> yeah, so yeah. i wanted watu wajue who is Rizka Gwanja mm-hmm. safari yako venye imekuwa mm-hmm. hadi hapa mali umefika saa hizi mm-hmm. na pia the desire that ambayo uko nayo mm-hmm. so saa hizi from saa hizi Mungu akupatie many years back kama mm-hmm. miaka mingi mbele mm-hmm. as in from 5 years from now yeah. eh, watu watarajie nini kutoka kwa Liz watu watatarajia hiyo tu upendo mm. nitaendelea kuwapenda mm. nitaendelea kuwatendea mema mm. nitaendelea kuwaongeresha neno la Mungu mm. na hiyo neno la Mungu sita stop mm. i will not stop because you know my counseling mm. my counseling is not purely psychological mm. it has psychological part of it mm. because i have done psychology but it also has the word of god mm. inside it and that one i can assure you dj mm. i'm not stopping yeah. i will do it until my last breath unaona my role model ni nani moreseruru yeah i see ali endelea kafanya kafanya paka the previous day yeah. before he died yeah. he posted the messages yeah, to people sure. so that is my desire wow mm. what drives you 
nini yenyewe ukiamka asubuhi yani na because sasa hizi nikiangalia you have achieved a lot na baada sasa sasa hizi unaona sasa hizi naangalia watu wengine unapigia mtu ni mtu mdogo tu uko wapi nimelala leo sisikii kutoka kwa nyumba lakini nikiangalia how active you are the things that you do na sasa hizi you have achieved a lot god has blessed you you are blessed ready lakini you are active you are there helping people uko hapo kuongeresha watu watu wengine wako na shida za ndoa ndio wamekuja huko counseling ndio huyo wewe kuna mtu wako na lounge huko umeenda umemsupport atafanya tulikuwa na wewe na huko mawanga huko huko kwa support nini hiyo ambayo that one thing ambayo wewe ina ku drive niko na passion ya i don't know how i'll put it but i have passion for humanity yeah to live uh, humanity mm. better than I found them. I want to leave a legacy, mm. a legacy to be remembered as that selfless person who was always there for people. Because yeah. <laughs> I know you are my witness. Ukinikol yeah. hivi, whatever it is, even mm. if I don't have anything, mm. I will pray. Yeah, sure. And it happens, yeah, isn't it? Yeah. 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 So, that ah. passion for humanity hmm. and you in any drive wow mm. hey uh, what is my duet uh, this is more than an interview because it uh, it had to hard talk ndio kuna ile mahungia ya had to hard talk and mm. that is Liz Kagwanja na jo umesikia mambo mengi kumoso na Liz unapatikana wapi mtakita kukupata mm. Liz refuge where is it located Liz refuge is Nakuru mm. Kenya a uh, place called pipeline mm. Na the building is Strong Tower Plaza. Strong Tower Plaza. If you any time you want to see me, I'm normally there on a Tuesday mm. for the show from nine to twelve, and I'm there on Thursday. That is my day to meet people one on one. Mm. If you want to see me, just call me and make an appointment mm. on Thursday. Okay. Any other day, I can see you, but. You can just call and see whether I can fix you somewhere. Okay. So, but I'm always available. Don't fear to call. Call any time and then I'll fix you somewhere and I'll see you. Okay. Yeah. So counseling Zako, una deal na every kind of counseling, marriage, yes. life issues. Yes, I do, hmm. but I so much specialize on relationships. Oh, relationship. Of course relationship now marriage is ikondani. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> na ile mambo ingine yote yeah, watu yeah, yeah, yeah. Kwa kazi, i yeah, like yeah. i like dealing with the relationships yeah, relationship. mm. but i can do any other kind of counseling mm. you know when you do counseling you don't choose that yeah. this is it you do everything yeah sure yeah hata watu wa drugs like i was seeing another person here mm. whom i was able to help he was in drugs and he was in marriage mm. And walikuwa wamekosana kabisa. Hata mm. wamesema wanaenda nini wanaachana wata watapata mtoto au wako na nini. But I was able to deal with that family okay. one on one. Mm. First I dealt with the wife, mm. then I dealt with the husband. And later on they called me for celebration. Mm. They were out of the wood wow. and they were back together mm. again. Mm -hmm. So that's it. Okay. Mm. So si labda kuna mtu ambaye anaweza taka anaona watu ni wengi sana. Mm. Na uh, one thing, mm. one thing uh, if you come to me mm. and I'm not able to deal with your case mm. because of the technicalities of mm. your case, mm. I can refer you mm. to the right person. Yeah. Yeah. So mm. uh, maybe you can give them your number as I leave yeah. the messages za watu ambao wametuma namba mtu anataka kukupata kwa namba Okay okay my number is 0701 mm. 879585 yeah So uh, naona Jeff Wallace anasema wow thank you Elise Kagwanja tulikuwa tumekuongoja sana alafu naona Evander Skirui anasema great show indeed uh, salimia mgeni wetu naona Alice Moirore anasema Elise Kagwanja nimefurahi kukuona 
anakufuatanga Facebook. Okay. Uh, Teresia Kemunya anasema mm. thank you Mr. DJ for bringing Liz on the board. Mm -hmm. Alafu naona kaka mjomba all the way from Mombasa. <laughs> okay. Kaka mjomba all the way from Mombasa. Mm -hmm. Najua unamkumbuka kwa anniversary yangu. Yeah. Ndiyako mbwa mewan kubwa. Yeah, 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 <laughs> kaka yeah, yeah. mjomba. Mm. Asama nice to see you. Mm. Uh, Uriwakatia keki na ilikuwa tamu. Oh, <laughs> glory to God. Anakumbuka, anakumbuka. <laughs> glory to Nona God. Nona Pastor Lawrence Kahonoki. Mm -hmm. Anasema anaishi in Nairobi current. Wow. Uh, Anasema ata kuinvite to one of these fine days uka. oh great uh, unaona church kid anasema mm -hmm. wow tulikuwa tumemwongoja asante sana mm -hmm. alafu unaona margaret kemani mm -hmm. anasema tune from nakuru and say hi to liz Jerry Rono anasema watching from diasporas mm -hmm. na riz ni wabaraka kwetu amen uh, sara kibingi anasema mm -hmm. watching from eldoret mm -hmm. ana anasema pia amebarikiwa na mm -hmm. wewe alafu unaona uh, dereva dennis anasema anaona kutoka huko njoro yeah. na pia amebarikiwa mm -hmm. alafu naona Joyce Chel uh, Joyce Chelanga anasema anaendelea kututazama alafu naona Hope Eva anasema awesome show and I'm very blessed with Riz Kagwanja Munene Salim eh, anasema wow say hi to my sister Liz <laughs> thank you thank you thank you Munene <laughs> aya naona Jorin mm -hmm. Rono anasema tuko ndani sana mm -hmm. alafu naona Hezron Kipletin anasema wow 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 mgeni yako sawa Hezron Kipletin, a uh, Hezron Kipletin. Mm -hmm. Anasema wa tunabambika na Liz <laughs> na ni mrembo sana. <laughs> Glory to God. Yeah, so wa ni mrembo sana. Mm. Shiko nice. Anasema mm. KSA mm. we well represented. Mm. Tunafuata mpaka mwisho. Mm. Masiwa DK. Anaona from Nyaururu. Mm -hmm. Anasema pia amebarikiwa sana. Uh, alafu naona nani? Naona Helen Nyokabi. Mm. Helen Nyokabi <laughs> watching from a police circle. Salimia Liz sana. Alafu naona Thank David Wanduta pia <laughs> anasema show iko sawa mm. na anabarikiwa na anabarikiwa. Amen. So hizo ndio message. Amen. Amen. So Amen. nataka mm. wamke tuweze mm. kutoka na hii wimbo ya mwana wa pekee mm. ni Mungu watu wengi naona wame request. Mm -hmm. e, alafu alafu ukienda uende salama mm -hmm. na Mungu akubariki kwa kukuja. Amen. Sawa so, tucheze hii wimbo. Mm. Mwana wa pekee. Mm. <laughs>
kwa mwana mwana wa pekee ni Mungu eh, ambaye ni wimbo yake Liz 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 Kagwanja. So Liz asante sana mm. Mungu akubariki kwa kuja show yetu mm. na tutaendelea kuzidi. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Asante sana. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you.